What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery, and I want to come out here and talk to y'all on this nice, beautiful Sunday. That's a double entendre right there, anyway. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, yesterday at 12.04 in the morning, I said I was going to start a one-day water fast. That simply means I was going to do nothing but drink water for that entire day. Not eat any food, any food of any sort. I ate absolutely no food. It was just only drinking water for one day, right? I was going to do a one-day water fast. And at 12.04 Sunday morning today, I completed my one-day water fast. I didn't break. I didn't fold. I didn't, I didn't even grab. only thing I was grabbing was water. And... I want to tell you about my experience with this one day water fast. I will admit that this was a roller coaster. It was a it was a pure roller coaster, ups and downs of emotions and just thoughts going through my head and I never realized, me pers for me personally, I never realized how much I think about food. Like, you know how, you know how when, like, when you're so used to doing something for a long period of time and all of a sudden you stop doing it for maybe just one day or just maybe for like a, a couple of hours, you don't realize how many times you think about that particular thing unconsciously. That's how I felt with food. Like, I never realized, I never realized how often my brain goes right to food and things I won't even be hungry that's the thing and there were there were moments where I was hungry shoot but those days I mean those moments that I wasn't even hungry at all my brain would still go to food it would still go to food and this fast made me become conscious of the fact that wow I think about food a lot like, even when I'm not hungry, I think about food a lot. To the point where my brain would just say, like, if, if I walk by the kitchen, or even if I'm, if, even if I'm in my room. Actually, it, it happens when I'm in my room. When I'm in the room, and I'm doing something else, I'm not even thinking, I'm not even, I'm not eating. But I'm, I'm doing something like drawing, or painting, or reading, or writing, or something like that. That's when the thought, uh, like, food, like, I want, I, I want to make, I want to make so-and-so. I want to eat so and so. Like, that's what happened, and it got to the point where that there was a moment where like the 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 hunger thoughts got so crazy that all I wanted to eat was donuts. Like people people from DC know what I'm talking about. We go to um we go to, uh, Van Ness by UDC, and there's a giant. Uh, giant, uh, Giants grocery store there And they sell these donuts These uh, chocolate glazed donuts Oh like I love They're like really big And like they're like giant donuts But they're like, it's like They're like glazed On the top of chocolate Or they call it chocolate frosting Whatever you want to call it I love Those donuts To the point like, It was one time I would buy like a whole entire Case Of A whole dozen Of donuts and it may be for me. I was share with somebody, but it may be for me. And all I kept thinking about, all I kept thinking about was, I want some of those donuts. I even told my wife, I said, because uh, she knows doing the fast. She's like, you know, I said, I, said, I, said, I, said, uh, I tell her how it was going. She's like, she's like, uh, well, how, how you feeling? I said, I'm feeling good, you know, ups and downs and all that stuff. But I said, man, I want some donuts right now. I said, I said, I said, I know. Like the moment I would have those thoughts, my brain would just stop saying, no, you can't have those donuts. No. But I was just, it was ups and downs. And it was really interesting to, to really see how the brain works when it is dependent. Well, I mean, you're going to be dependent on food, but when you're like overly dependent on certain things, it could be food, it could be medication it could be it could be a lot of things but th 
the, the fast, the water fast made me really realize how overly dependent I can be on food. How often I think about food, even when I'm not hungry. Like there were, I, I could say there were about like three moments, three moments in my fast where I felt the hunger pains kicking in. And it was one moment where it was like really bad where I was like, you know what? I'm not going to break. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a nap. I'm going to just take a nap to sleep, sleep, sleep these hunger pains off. And I was hoping that when I woke up from my nap, it would be 12.04 Sunday morning where I could wake up my fast be over. But I couldn't because there's a lot of noise in the house. So I couldn't finish my, my I couldn't sleep through my one day water fast. But when I woke up from my nap, I felt energized. I felt, I felt good. I felt good. You know, and then what was really getting to me was when I got, when I got like, like to 11 o'clock, right? It was like 11 o'clock. And you know how when you're like at school or you're at work and it's almost time to get off. So all you're doing is looking at the clock. You look, you like staring at the clock and it's like one minute lasts for one hour. And it seems like one hour lasts for 12 hours. That's how I was feeling when it hit like 11 o'clock because I knew I wasn't going, I wasn't going to break. Like there, like there were moments where I felt like a little bit, I wanted to, I wanted to cheat. I felt like a little bit, a little bit, I wanted to break my fast. But you also realize, along with realizing how much food you think about, you also realize how strong of a, how strong the mind actually is when it wants to refuse something. Like you realize how strong your will is when you're when you're tested with something that you either need or want. I mean, you need food to live. That's true. You do need food to live. But the amount of food you eat is a want. Like you could say, I need food to live. But what you eat can be just greed. Right. Like certain things you don't need to eat. And I, I knew this already. I knew this already. But I mainly did it really just to give my body a break from all the stuff that I normally would eat, which I know is junk food. I know it's junk food. So I wanted to I wanted to just give my body a break and really treat my body by just drinking water. Just because water, you I mean, you need water more than you need food. That's a fact. You need water more than you need food. Because all the food you eat requires water. That tells you which one's more important. All the food you have ever eaten requires water. So if you ever want to know what's the hierarchy and things you need to consume, water is number one. All right. But this fast helped me, helped me to really see that, wow, my mind and my will is stronger than I thought it would be. I mean, I know I already have a strong will. I have a strong will. I can be, I can be stubborn at times. You know, it's a thin line between strong. Will, it's, it's a thin line between determination and stubbornness. And this water fast pushed my brain to really say, okay, I need to find other ways to keep my mind occupied when these thoughts, the, the, these I call them hunger thoughts, when the hunger thoughts are kicking in. And then the hunger pains kick in. Because it's always, always the hunger thoughts first. It's first the hunger thoughts, then the hunger pains. So when these hunger thoughts kick in, I need to find another means to keep my mind occupied while I'm while I am abstaining from food. So I said, okay, what I do, I I would I, I did some drawing, I played some video games, I was playing Tekken 7 like crazy. And let's see what else I was doing. I was, I was doing a lot of drawing. I was doing some writing. I wrote in my journal my experiences with this uh, one day water fast. You know, what I was going through step by step and moment by moment. Like whenever I have a certain moment in my, in my fast, I would write it down just so I could have a, a record of what my, what my mind goes through. Now, I don't know. Everybody may not go through the same thing. Somebody could do a one day water fast and they, they, they may not go through the same things I went through. It happens. But what my mind went through, I wanted to record so I can look back and say, okay, 
if and when I decide to do another one day water fast, I know, I kind of know what to expect because, well, first of all, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do another one day water fast, but I want to do it like taking a particular, taking a specific day out of the week. I want to do it like every week, but like one day out of every week just to give my body a break, you know? Because if you think about it, if you're eating for seven days straight, all the time, even when you're not hungry, you're still eating, that's overkill to your body. So you wanna, you wanna give your body a break. So I wanna do every week, I wanna pick a day where I have my one day water fast. Now I haven't decided what that day is yet. I mean, it's, I did a Saturday, it was, it was just, the thought came in my head that day, so I just had to do it that day. But I need to pick a day where I say, okay, for today, I'm fasting. Only, I'm only drinking water. Only drinking water. Once I figure out what that day is, that's going to be my day for my one-day water fast. And also what I noticed about the one-day water fast, my body became lighter, meaning my weight. My weight, I wasn't as heavy. Like without, Usually, every night before I go to bed, I do about 300 stomach crunches. I do like 30 push-ups before I go to bed. And I noticed the day before I started my one day water fast, I did my 30 push-ups, my body felt heavy. It felt really, really heavy. Like I was struggling to do these 30 push-ups. It felt really, really heavy. I said, okay, that's odd. So when I did my 300 stomach crunches and my 30 push-ups during my one day water fast, I felt lighter. Like my body felt lighter during my push-ups. Like I was, I, was, I was going through them fast. I was like, wow, I, I'm, I'm actually noticing a difference within one day. I'm noticing a difference. So I said, okay, okay, let me, let me see where this goes. So that means I need to be mindful about what I consume throughout the week so I won't go through that same heaviness when I'm doing my workouts at, at, before I go to bed. But it was, it was a, a learning experience. Like I've... I never knew the body went through this. I never knew the body went through all this. You know, I heard I heard people who done who've done fast before, and how their body reacts and what it goes through. But you know, you won't know. I mean, your body is different, so you're not going to know how you're going to react until. You're faced with we're faced with that situation. So when I tried it, when I did the one day water fast, I said, okay, this is what my body goes through. And I, re- I, and I realized, okay, the mind is a is a powerful thing. The mind can be easily manipulated, and the mind can be as strong as steel. But it fluctuates. Like the mind fluctuates, through, well, my mind, it fluctuated during this fast. One moment, I can go, I, I, feel like I, I feel like I can go, I can fast for three days straight. And another moment, I feel like I can't last five minutes. It, it was just, it's an up and down thing. It's an ebb and flow type of thing. Oh. It's an ebb and flow type of thing. And it's a learning experience. I learned a lot about myself. I really, really did. I learned about I learned about how much I consume, how much unnecessary foods I consume, how much how much unnecessary foods I think about. Like most of the foods that I eat, I know I don't need. This thing, most of the foods that I eat, I know I don't need. I know it's not good for me. I know this, and I didn't realize it until this fast. Like wow, I think about a lot of junk food because. Now, one time that I think about when I, when, I, when, I get, when I did get those hunger pains or those, those hunger thoughts. Now, one time that I think about, hmm, I should eat a salad. Or, hmm, I want to eat some fruit. Now, one time that I think about that, I thought about all junk food during my fast. All junk food. I thought about pizza. I thought about donuts. I thought about cheesecake. Uh, I thought about burgers like things that 
I know aren't good for me. I thought about that. Now, one time I think about a salad. I didn't think about eating fruit. And I love eating fruits and I love eating a salad. But now one time during, during this, water, this water fast, that I think about eating a salad. That I think about eating some fruits. None of that. I didn't think about that at all. All I was thinking about was junk food. I said, okay, this lets me know how much my mind or what my mind is really on. Like, like what I'm really thinking about. This lets me know what my mind is really on. And I wonder, does that happen to a lot of people? Am I the only one who, 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 let, who goes through that? Like where it's not, I'm not thinking about healthy stuff. I'm thinking about junk food. Like, how often do people really go through this when they're going through their fast for however long they're going through it? And this is just a one day water fast. You know, one day water fast, I was ready to go, I was ready to go tear up some junk food. I go, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted donuts and pizza. That's what my mind was, that's, that's where I went during this. I, I wanted donuts and pizza, but I didn't break though. I said, no, I can't, I can't do it. Give me, give me a bottle of water. Give me my bottle of water, let me go in my room, let me sit down, let me keep my mind occupied on something else, let me drink my water, you know, and just let me just sit down and really pay attention, really pay attention to what my thoughts are. And then really analyze why I'm thinking these thoughts. You know, why, why, am I, why am I thinking about junk food instead of healthy food? You know, like why, why is my mind going through that? Why? I said, okay, this is very, very revealing to me. It's, it's very, yeah, you, you do a lot of introspection. When you, do, when, you, when you do a fast, you have a lot of time to do a lot of introspection. Because I did a lot of self, uh, self-criticism, a lot of introspection. You know, a lot of, lot of self-analyzing. I was, I was in my own head breaking down things like, why am I thinking this? Why, why am I feeling this way? You know, why are these foods coming in my head? Why am I thinking about this particular food? Why am I not thinking about this particular food? You know, all that. I, I, was, I, was, I was in it. I was dissecting the puzzle. So, but I am proud to say I did not break. I completed my one day water fast. I am proud of myself. When I told my wife, I said, I said, babe, I did it. I finished. She's like, yay, you finished it, yay. I said, yeah, I did it. it was, she said, how did it feel? I said, it was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster. It is, it's a roller coaster. Up and down emotions, up and down thoughts, up and down urges, all of that. It's all of that. But you realize that the mind is stronger than you think. It's stronger, the mind, can be stronger than your urges if you practice on it and that's another reason why i did because mainly i wanted to test myself i wanted to test my mind and my body to see if i had the willpower to do this do do is my is my mind strong enough to do something like a one-day water fast because if my mind can beat a one-day water fast then what else can I conquer? One day water fast is just, a, it's just, it's just the first test. If my mind can do this, what else can my mind do? What else can my mind set a goal for and conquer? You know? So that's how it went. But proud to say again, I completed my one day water fast. I've beat my one day water fast. And I will be doing another fast next week. Because my body still needs to get used to it. I need to do it until my body is used to it. Once my body gets used to it, then I may add another day on just to just to see, just to test it again. But yeah, that's how I went. You know, thank you all. Thank you all who you know who watched this. You know, go on my journey and let me know what y'all. Let me know what you all went through. Let me know if y'all went through a fast and how I went for you. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. All right. So leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will catch you all later. Peace.